a possible tag team title shot. And I think this match right here, you know, it is an outdoor July 4th kind of fight. I think this builds a lot of, a long way towards, you know, a a tag team title opportunity perhaps in the future. Well, if they want to win that argument, the win this afternoon is crucial. Absolutely. So if you want to be, if you want to get yourselves in the mix, you you know the, the, the matriarchy is in my opinion in the mix. Oh, uh, so uh, yes. if you want to get into the mix, beating them is a big deal. Yeah, the the tag team atmosphere here in 880 continues to grow as Nick's Wild and Zeke Mercer throwing forearms early on. Up knees to the back of Nick's Wild, Zeke Mercer and Nick's Wild. They used to be tag team partners themselves. Uh, Zeke turned on. Nick's wild, and ever since there's been a, a, a frustration between the two of them. Well, you know, old habits die hard. Yeah. And I think that's what it comes down to with Zeke Mercer. I mean, I think there was always there's always something in his back pocket through his relationship with Nick's wild. And you know, that obviously came to the light. And and honestly, there we talked about the attitude change of Brohemoth. That is also brewing in Nick's Wild, I think. Yeah. So I mean you look at Nix and, and Zeke have had their fair share of hardcore matches and tried to uh, find their their way through all of this. As again, intersecting storylines, Tatiana now tagged in. Tatiana has been the the best friend for Nix Wild through all of that and had been a, a, a uh, for lack of a better term, I hate to use a pun, a root system for Nix Wild in, the, in this Wildflowers tag team. And now, we'll throw back to a smoking guns action. Side slam elbow, Tatiana picks up a two count. I mean, I honestly want to document, I thought Tatiana's performance in that uh, six pack challenge at the at the Lawless uh, Bar Exam Part 2 was very impressive. Um, Reese, had, Reese pinning her, was it was a dynamic feeling inside of Dottie Block last Friday night. Yeah. Tatiana, you know, has grown a lot. Uh, in her years here, especially as 880, you know, I knew Tatiana when she was first breaking in. She was trying to find that home, trying to find somewhere where she could really, like I said, set down roots. And 880 wrestling has been that place. And ever since, she has just continued to improve week in and week out. Well, Mercer taking control. And, and, and it's benefiting. Oh, sorry, cover. And it's benefiting the group, yes. the Wildflowers, that, that both Nix and Tatiana are kind of having their little opportunities as singles. Uh, and I think it's done nothing but uh, positive for the Wildflowers as a group. Yeah, as a group, you know, uh, include Reese Hayes in that. They've, they've found tag team success at times. They've found single success uh, as well. But Tatiana, reversal on Zeke Mercer, tagged by Paris Sahara. I don't know if Tatiana saw the tag or not, but knocks Paris off the apron and now roll through. Look at that big kick and nails Zeke. And I don't think that Tatiana leg drop knows that Zeke Mercer is not the legal competitor. And yeah, now arguing with George Ross, the referee. Looks like a blind tag there yeah, from Paris. I don't think Hara. Tatiana realized George. when she knocked Paris Sahara off the apron. I mean, George Ross just made it perfectly clear to yeah. Tatiana that the tag was made. You know, and now Paris in with that boot to the face of Tatiana. And Nails oh. to the face. Oh. And this is uh, this is the other side of Paris Sahara that you don't want to get on. Paris Sahara, it, when she gets rolling, can just. Sorry. What do you cover. call? What do you call that, Marcus? Uh, is that a split? Just that's a, a split, split slam. Split, split splash. Split splash. I'm sure Paris has a name for it, and I didn't ask her earlier what it is because I tell you what, you don't bother Paris Sahara before. She I've is in her way. in her universe. She doesn't want you or anyone else bothering her in her universe. Now Tatiana thrown to the corner, and Paris taking full control. Look out! Back handspring elbow. And Paris Sahara, and as we said. Trying to, uh, oh, sorry, Bulldog, sliding Bulldog, cover. 
lackadaisical cover. And no, folks, the, pack, the pachyderms are not running down Diamond Beach. That is uh, the, tr the, uh, the the drummer's uh, sound check there. Oh, yeah, we got fans in here. We got action as well as Paris Sahara getting into the back breaker. And Tatiana is full on stretched out here. I was going to say, Paris Sahara has really impressed me. Uh, after that match with Bianca, Brianna Bands here at 880 Wrestling. Yeah. Impressed me as a singles competitor and someone I think could be title in title contention soon. But smartly in this heat, going to tag out to Zeke Mercer and keep the uh, keep the energy levels where they need to be. Hey, you got to give the devil there too. The matriarchy is doing some nice, classic, Tag team traditional yeah, wrestling. This is very, very good, and that speaks a lot to one, the experience of a Zeke Mercer, but also uh, to a manager like Amanda, who has that kind of uh, ability on the outside to say, hey, look, let's tag in and out, be able to communicate. You As know, we said, there's tags a, in, quick tags in and out. Quick tags in and out. Nice. There's a lot of noise going on. This is an outdoor event. We got band sound checking. You can't always hear your tag team partner. Having that manager on the floor who can walk over and communicate to you, hey, it's time to tag. Hey, it's time to make these moves, are very, very important. Zeke Mercer trying to uh, set up Tatiana, made for a superplex, but Tatiana able to get out of a big clothesline. And Tatiana is feeling it right now, needs to make a tag. I mean, and, and this is like really a gut check moment for both teams. Uh, and Tatiana, she she took a major shot there yeah. from Zeke Mercer, and now trying to make her way to that corner to hit the NBY Riot Nick Wild. I'm sorry, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I was a little frazzled. Yeah. By uh, oh, it's, you know, it's it's. I thought I was being summoned. Here we go. Tag to Nick Wild and Nick. I was trying to protect my ever genuine heart, Marcus. Trying to, wow, big clothesline on Zeke. Turns them inside out. And now, Paris Sahara is down. Nick's wild, frustrated after not getting that battle royal victory. Now with big forwards in the corner. Gonna get their victory. If they can, backstabber on Paris. Vintage NB Riot. And now, maybe setting up. For that double jump splash. Work screwed on cover on Paris. Zeke Mercer able to break it up. And now Tatiana getting in. Things have broken down dramatically here. Uh, but Nick's Wild still able to stay in control. Trying to clear the ring of Zeke Mercer. Tag to Tatiana. Maybe go for a double team maneuver. Paris is up. Big Death Valley driver. Maybe going for that flower bomb. Tatiana's up. There it is. And that could be a wrap here. That should be it. But Tatiana, there he goes, getting to the cover. But Amanda oh, right there on, on the outside. Can Referee George Ross didn't see it, but Amanda Maslow break. putting that foot on the bottom rope. Maybe just saved the match for the for the matriarchy. Zeke Mercer knocks Nick's Wild to the floor. What Tatiana's is, distracted. What is one person's trash is another's gold as Amanda Maslow comes through for the matriarchy again. Tatiana able to duck the clothes on Spear. Still in it. Tatiana doing the right thing. Can't get frustrated because of that. Has to find a way to fight through that and get this victory. Waiting on Zeke, but look out. Oh, boy. From behind. Oh, she got the tights. She got the tights. Oh, come on. The matriarchy steals one, Marcus. The matriarchy able to get a victory out of nowhere. Here are the matriarchy. That's tag. I mean, that was just being in the right place at the right time, and even if Paris grabbed the tights, it's a W for the Matriarchy. It's a W Marcus. for the Matriarchy who looks to move up these tag team rankings here at 880 Wrestling. Zeke Mercer, Paris Sahara, they don't care if you don't like the way they win, they just win here at 880 Wrestling. Like I said, I think they're, I said earlier, they're in the mix, Marcus, and we saw the Den of Desire earlier, they just crossed paths with Honey Darling, 
that might be the next landing point for both those tag teams. 100%. That will be a, a, a future tag team opportunity here at 880 Wrestling.